Hi YouTube, this is PC Night 5 Hacker. This video is the beginning of Photoshop tutorials on my YouTube account. So on this video I'm gonna show you how to change a normal photo into a mosaic one. So I'm going to sh show you some photos to understand that one. So that's a normal photo and this is the mosaic one, the modified one. It's cool because they are parts of the photo and I've modified it. So for this we are going to use Photoshop on Photoshop CS4. I use, I'm using CS4, go to file, open, then choose your photo and open it. And then right click on the background layer and click layer from background and name it as you want, click OK. Then create a new layer and go to layer go to image cavana size and change these inches into pixels and add 100 to each this is 1280 it will be 1380 this is 800 uh, 853 will be 953 it doesn't matter with your sizes if you have different sizes doesn't matter just add 100 or make it bigger 200 it doesn't matter then choose the color if you like mine here is the code copy it then the paint bucket tool and paint it move this layer into the end so it looks like border then click layer 0 then go to layer layer style stroke and make the size 4 change the color into white ok then go to drop shadow click it make the op opacity 100 the angle 131 the distance uh, 6 the spread 4 the size 6 nothing else do not change nothing click ok you're done then click the layer 0 all of the original layer uh, click the rectangle mark you tool select the part then click ctrl j to duplicate it then go to edit transform rotate it and i'm going to rotate it click enter to apply click the selection tool and you can move it as you want but it's cool here then click click again layer zero layer zero the original layer then go to then click the selection, the rectangle uh, mark you tool, select a bigger part. Uh, I always select bigger big parts so I can arrange them and move them as I want. Ctrl J duplicate it, edit, transform, rotate and Okay, for me it's okay up here. Not okay because yes, here it's okay. Then click enter and you're done. Continue doing the same thing, just click layer zero, the mark you rectangle tool, just select, double duplicate the layer, edit, rotate rotate it as you want, move it as you want, where you want so it fits and I will be back when I've finished all the photo to show you how it ends
I to buy back again and I finished modifying the photo so it's done you can and another thing that I was thinking when you arrive at some part to select it do not think that you are going to select this layer these parts that you move do you select only the background only these layers so if I unshow this layer and you can see the selection part is only this part it's not on the other layers because uh, because up here you've selected layer 0 and the selection is made on the layer 0 that is the original image so that was all that I was going to say to you and another thing and you can move as you want and I've made some mistakes about up here it doesn't matter how it looks but that's the way how you do it just try not try to make it as cool as as cooler as you want and the last one the last part just unshow the layer zero and you're done so you have only these parts up here and the last thing to do is file save save this photoshop format and then save it as jpeg so that was all for today bye